Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Finu to my channel. Hi, I'm Akanksha. So this is me doing an intro for a vlog which I shot two weeks ago because back then I did not do an intro and I felt like the video needs a little bit of intro. So basically I got a chemical peel done or I'm going to get a chemical peel done like you will see in this video. Uh, so I got this peel done in Anu's clinic, Madhapur, Hyderabad. If you do want to check out the clinic, then I'll leave everything in the description box. You can check them out. I'll leave the Instagram also if you want to contact them. I feel the podomatologist there is extremely patient hence I actually trusted and went ahead with the procedure so if you're interested then you can check it out now let's get into the vlog Hi guys, so I am at Anu's today to get a chemical peel done. I thought I'll start this vlog while I was at home but had no time so I came here and I'm about to go in for the peel. I'm getting a yellow peel done. Uh, I've never gotten a yellow peel or peel done before so I'm a little scared but a little excited also. So uh, like my acne has been under control but there's a lot of scarring which I want to get rid of so the doctor here suggested me to go with a yellow peel and um, that's what I'm going to do today. She's here, she's only going to do the peel. So yeah, I thought I'll show it to you guys because you know you might also be wondering what it is, how the procedure is. So I thought I'll take you through whatever happens so that you can also see what you're going to do if you get it done. So this is the scarring I have right now on both the sides and the peel will help reduce the scars a lot quicker because it like it helps rejuvenate the skin a lot quicker. So the procedure was quite simple, they just cleansed my skin and went in and applied this solution. I guess this is the yellow peel, the vitamin A solution, basically retinol which helps peel the skin. Next she added some kind of cream or moisturizer to the skin and literally that was it. So just put on the peel. And I'm on the way back home. It literally just took me 15 to 20 minutes to do not in 15 minutes. I think it was just done in 10 minutes. They applied the peeling solution, doctor applied it, and I was not supposed to wash it until like the next eight hours and then I can wash it off. So I'm about to wash my face and that's what I'll show you. There's not much, but you know, in the sides I have little like rough dead skin feeling type of thing which is coming. Can you see that? See like that dead skin type of thing is coming like, but other than that there's nothing else happening on my skin. I just have a little bit of mascara on because I had to shoot for something which I was not prepared for. I do not put makeup on my skin at all just a little bit of mascara and lipstick and I didn't put like I mean skin products. I'm just trying to remove the mascara without touching the skin because I want to wash my face. Like I'm not supposed to use a face wash uh, today. I can use a face wash tomorrow. So I just have to wash it with water now and apply like moisturizer. It's a very slow process because usually like you know I can take like a pad and just put it on my face completely and it'll dissolve it and I can wipe off all the makeup everything together. But now I should not touch the skin at all. Like I don't think anything will happen but you know when they ask me not to, I don't want to. See it is off. This one is amazing. I really love this micellar water like you always do. Very affordable and very nice. Okay guys, it's day two. Ignore how like my hair looks. I just oiled it and I realized I cannot 
wash my face i cannot wash my hair but i realized that after applying the oil so you know i look like this so this is day two there is nothing abnormal happening on my skin it just looks like normal skin now of course i didn't expect anything like magical to happen with one peel because peels are something which take time you need to do like three to four times or more to even see results but i just thought like i'll show you the procedure of it and how i felt during the peel if there was any reaction no reaction ignore the clothes in the background that's going to be there in everybody's house if you're somebody who's going in for a peel and you're expecting some magical results let me tell you that nothing is going to let that happen it takes months for your skin to show results and you know see anything initially if you're somebody who's never done anything to your skin maybe like you'll see like a little bit of change so yeah anyway that's the day two update hi guys okay guys so i just woke up ignore my face it just was brushing then i realized my skin started to peel around my nose uh yesterday was day two nothing happened today is day three and there is slight peeling around my nose i'm not sure if you can see so you know the slight peeling i don't know why you cannot see it on camera but you know there is uh, peeling happening around the nose but um, other than that nothing else is peeling um only this nose part is and that today is day three okay guys so it is the same day it is day three but it's night time now and all the skin is peeling off it's like a chicken peeling skin <laughs> normal rest of the face is fine only this part is peeling maybe tomorrow it'll peel more but the rest of the face is fine like even around the nose area it's there like morning i showed you right so this is how it looks from front camera front camera is not picking up so much that's why i showed you guys in the mirror so so one thing i know seeing hundreds of chemical peeling videos of general skin care videos is that you're not supposed to remove this skin physically it will go away on its own in a few days you're not supposed to physically remove this or anything like if you're washing your face and when it's damp and you're washing if it goes then it's fine uh, but you cannot physically like peel off the dead skin it's going to cause more hyperpigmentation and more skin issues so not gonna do anything to this i just add maybe like a little bit of moisturizer or something my lips are also a little bit dry so yeah that's the three all right you guys we are back home it is almost 9:40 10 o'clock we left at 12 o'clock in the morning so so tired my skin is in the weirdest state possible look at my skin it is peeling all over it is day 4 Look at all this! I don't know what to do. Uh, it is ten o'clock, but then my manager told me that I need to shoot something. I actually could not shoot for the past four days because of this thing. Uh, but today I have some submission to do. Basically, well, I'll give you a little update about the skin and that we're back home now. I'm just going to be very, very tired, but I need to click a few pictures and yeah. So this side, you know, you can see it evidently, but on this side, it's like very, very light. Like you can see it, like in person, but on camera, I'm not able to capture the dryness. So actually, my doctor asked me to apply moisturizer like every three hours, every three to four hours, because skin tends to get dry. But I stepped out at twelve o'clock and I didn't do that. So probably that's why, and because of the mask and all, also. I feel very weird. I just want to clean up first and then shoot a little bit. It is a day five, and my skin is peeling on the forehead. You know, this is Instagram versus reality. Like my skin looks so good, everything looks really nice, and then you close up, and it is all dry skin. It's peeling like yesterday was like this region, and today is you know all. this region ignore my brow hair we are not here for my hair see all this part probably i think this peeling will stop tomorrow because it's like sections of my face is done like this part is done so this part is getting done i think tomorrow it should be all fine so on day 6 today saturday i got it on monday so day 6 of the peel so i just turned it into the back camera because i feel like front camera kind of makes everything look a lot better 
I don't know how, uh, but you know, you can see that there is a lot of dry skin here and here. Now, I have not shaved or done anything since a week because there was nothing to do. So ignore my head, but you can see there is a lot of dryness in this region as well. I hope you can see because I cannot see what you're seeing. And you know, there's a lot of dryness in this part in this part in like you know hi you guys another day i just washed my hair it's a sunday i'm going out to meet my friends so my skin is better today there is at least like you know a little bit of dryness going on on the forehead and the chin even now the little flaky skin you cannot see it like on camera or even like in mirror but very very close up if you go there's little flaky skin which is a little dry skin basically uh but um, today i'm going to put on makeup up after one week she actually told me i can put on makeup since yesterday but i didn't have to do anything yesterday my skin was peeling quite a bit so i'm going to do makeup today so this is my skin like you can see there's you know a little bit of dryness there hi guys so it's a week later basically it's been two weeks that i got my peel done and I quickly wanted to summarize everything about the peel, my experience and more details. Uh, my voice is different because um, I got cold and it's almost gone but still it kind of you know sounds a little different. So um, basically I got a yellow peel done. The doctor said yellow peel is basically a retinol peel and it's not like a acid peel like a AHA, BHE peel like you know usually you have glycolic acid peels, lactic acid peels but this is a retinol peel. Now usually I've heard Heard. this might not be the case but uh, retinol peels are kind of the safest because they don't like tend to burn your skin uh, the acids tend to do that like retinol is one of the best ingredients to like you know rejuvenate your skin it tends to make your skin a little more dry but uh, it's there's no chance that it's going to burn your skin as uh, compared to like a glycolic acid which might of course everything done by a professional would always be a help and everything would give amazing result depending on who is you know who, which person is doing it so this peel ranges between three to five thousand it really depends from person to person because sometimes they give a mixture of things sometimes they just give one thing so you'll have to like you know contact them i leave all the you know um, details of the clinic I went to I went to Anu's Madapur I've been going there like uh, for some time but this is the first time I got a peel done and uh, the dermatologist there is very like patient and I really like you know like how she answered my question and that's the reason I trusted and went in for the uh, you know procedure so I leave the you know details etc in the description box if you want to check them out and go to the clinic and get any treatment done so after like a week also like the on Sunday I showed you guys my skin right even after that for a couple more days I still had a little bit of dry skin especially around the jaw area my face area was quite fine only right here I had a little bit of dry skin but that was like very very uh, minimal and I really want to tell you guys about the skincare I used as well so I actually recorded the bit where I was doing my skincare but that footage is nowhere seen so I'm just going to explain to you what I used the post care after the peel uh, was very simple she just asked me to use a cleanser a moisturizer and a sunscreen plus a hyaluronic acid serum if I have one so I was using the simple face wash because it's very very gentle and it's the best thing I could do for my skin because my skin was kind of dry as well it was like the most gentle thing in the morning sometimes I was not even washing my face I was just like cleansing it with water and leaving it in the night I was using the simple face wash so and for moisturizer I was using the be minimalist moisturizer she asked me to use something which has like you know no irritant ingredients she said either Clinique moisture surge or some Neutrogena water boost so um, I was like you know switching up between Clinique and the be minimalist one because be minimalist one was also like no fragrance no alcohol no paraben and i've been using that for like over two months and it kind of suited my skin quite well and for sunscreen i was using the neutrogena zinc sunscreen or the la shield zinc sunscreen i was switching up uh, between these two that was the post care she just asked me to apply moisturizer like every uh, three to four hours just to avoid you know dryness of the skin it's, it's anything is fluttering it is because of the fan i know it's very annoying uh, but you know ignore that and um, yeah this is my skin you guys like I recently had one more breakout but uh, yeah this is the skin I'm sure if I go in for more sessions I'll see more uh, results so one thing you should be very very sure of if you do this peel is that you should not go into the sun 
uh, without sunscreen or direct you know it's better to avoid direct sunscreen sunscreen or no, direct sunlight because um, you know your skin is sensitive you just applied retinol on it retinol does make your skin a little bit sensitive so it's better to avoid sun especially like when you have it on and you like you know the next eight hours you're not supposed to wash it make sure you are like you know protected until you go home and like i was there like i just put on my mask my shades and uh, a scarf uh, while i was like in the cab coming home as well so that uh, my skin does not get any exposure to um the sun is it, except like when i was like shooting that small bit and the next like three to four days i'm blessed enough to stay at home so i will like i completely avoided sunlight for the next three to four days as well but if you do go out then you know make sure you apply sunscreen even when if you're indoor you have, you have a lot of lighting in your house then make sure you apply uh, sunscreen so yeah that was my experience of uh, yellow peel done make sure you please consult a good dermatologist and do this don't go to any random place and get this done make sure there's a professional who's going to help you and do this on you so yeah i hope this video was useful if i do more if i you know get anything else done i'll of course take you through that journey and uh, show you know things with my skin i will always do that and yeah with that we finished this video if you like this video then make sure you like share, and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell all the description all the details will be in the description and i'll see you guys in my next video